We're continuing to follow that breaking news in Oakland. This is new video just into the Cron 4 newsroom of a fire, as you can see, burning inside a car dealership and inside a vehicle there on Broadway in Oakland. As, as you know, uh, up the upper part of Broadway, away from downtown Oakland, there are a string of car dealerships along that area. And apparently uh, the protests that uh, started near City Hall at 14th and Broadway moved up Broadway and uh, has uh, started to affect the businesses in this part of Oakland and considerable damage to uh, what are apparently new or newer cars uh, that are at the showroom yeah, floor. Yeah, and as you're saying, Ken, uh, there's a fire uh, not only inside that building, but we saw it. It, there's earlier stages of this fire, but now reaching some of the vehicles. Uh, these protests began around 8.30 tonight, and as Ken is saying, a lot of damage is being done. Not only here, there has uh, been video of a target being vandalized and windows smashed. Uh, we saw a fire being set outside the California Bank and Trust earlier, but uh, hundreds of protesters, uh, a lot of business owners, had been very concerned about this and boarding up buildings hoping it would not come to this. This is the California Bank and Trust building that we're talking about and uh, some kind of accelerant of fire set outside the building. Police anticipating this. Apparently police headquarters at 7th and Broadway uh, heavily fortified with K rails, uh, pedestrian barriers. And uh, But this has been violent now for some time. Uh, a couple of hours at least. And uh, we have seen uh, video of police officers basically kind of following uh, the crowd and, and keeping some distance, uh, not actively engaging. No, no with we any haven't of... seen that yet, that they're actually interacting with the, the vandals what, or protesters. What they may be trying to avoid is just having physical confrontations. Yeah. And uh, protesters may be quite aware of that and take advantage of the situation where the police are not getting hands on. We haven't seen any officers out on the streets mm -hmm. with riot gear or anything like that. They've been in vehicles uh, keeping some distance away, but kind of watching what's going on. And, um, you know, it's clear what they're doing. And uh, police are kind of allowing yeah, uh, some of this to happen to yeah, maybe the let them vent and then get this, you know. Let, in the meantime, yeah. though, and look at the damage sure. here. You know, that somebody... Uh, they're smashing windows. This is the target that we were talking about. And uh, this is exactly what uh, business owners had been dreading, uh, police had been dreading. You're looking at a large police presence there. But again, they don't appear, at least that we have seen, to be interacting uh, directly with the vandals. This is something, uh, unfortunately, that uh, Oakland is well aware of and uh, has been a, a, a scene of protests many, many times over the years. And, and it's kind of the same playbook every time. It starts at City Hall, works its way up Broadway, spreads out to surrounding streets. And uh, that's why many uh, businesses took precautions earlier today by boarding up their windows, but not all of them did. And those that did not are now suffering the consequences. We're going to keep monitoring the situation. In Oakland, we have not had any reports of injuries, nor have we had any reports of uh, uh, major fires that have led to uh, a big fire department response to put out buildings that are on fire. But we have seen these kind of spot fires outside and in some vehicles. Um, nothing worse than that, but we're continuing to monitor that, and we will keep you posted as things develop.